as you know, I posted a video on YouTube the other day when I was uh, installing Ubuntu on my Mac. Uh, I did this with a video camera, just just a video camera on the screen. It wasn't the best quality, and I had screen flow already. Well, I just didn't think to use it at the time to install it because I thought the camera would be good enough. So here we go. I'll give you a shot at it. So the disc's in, and at this point you'd have to download a virtual machine system software like Parallels for Mac, VMware Fusion, or I don't know if you can use Ubuntu in Boot Camp. But like I said before, guys, if everything goes wrong. Not, don't blame me, please. It's just your choice when you're doing it. So, load up that. I've already got it installed on the machine, but I'll create a new one for you today. And this says the virtual machine assistant will help you create your virtual machine. Virtual machines allow self contained portable computers that allow you to run Windows, other, or other x86 operating systems side by side with Mac OS X with near native performance. Once a virtual machine has been created, you will need to install an operating system from your own installation disk. So continue. The operating system is Linux. The version is Ubuntu. Continue. This is where you'd like to save your uh, Ubuntu virtual machine. And I'll save it in a virtual machines folder which I've created. And I'll save it as Ubuntu screen flow for YouTube so continue and how much disk space you want to all allocate I'll do 5 gigabytes because this I won't be using this partition this is just for YouTube uh, 5 gigabytes is plenty for Ubuntu really <coughs> unless you have saved major files on there which I don't think you would if you're running it alongside OS X and it, this is the configuration now because once the disk's in all you have to do is start click use operating system installation disk finish and the installation process goes from there really it's not that long guys to install it's only a couple of minutes so uh, I'll show you how to do it. Try Ubuntu without any change from your computer. Just want to install Ubuntu. So that's loading up now. Really quick, guys, when I did it yesterday. So definitely want to get if you're into going into more deeper tech and you just want to try it out for free as well can't complain hopefully this does within 10 minutes like it did yesterday I say I only have 10 minutes on my YouTube limit and I don't really want to be chopping bits out So this is just running through the system operation now, finding the bits it needs to install, and um, once it's installed, yeah, while it's installing, sorry, you can just expose all your windows, hover it anyway outside of the VMware window, click, and you can use your Mac like normal. And then once you hover straight back in. Be fine. So now, guys, it's installing it with a bar going up so you can see the progress. Let's find all the bits and bobs it needs to do. Mostly, guys, I'm not excited as I was yesterday, but it's still good installing an operating system. And they may re remove that other video now. If this works out okay, so it's 
just loading up the main screen now on Ubuntu. Right, so we've got five been five minutes guys. I could try and get this done in five minutes again. As you can hear, probably it's just reading the disc now. It doesn't take that long. That was the Ubuntu natural noise, just like OSX Bond on Windows load up noise. Once it finds all the components, it's really fast like that. So now this is done. This is Ubuntu Linux, guys. I'm just going to full screen mode for you, which is very simple, and I'll show you how to get out of it as well in a second. Just single click full screen. And it says press control, command. And S to think it. escape applications, accessories. As you can see, it's got calculator, character map, disk usage analyzer, manage print jobs, password and encryptions. I thought, well, I've run through these yesterday, guys, but I'll quickly hover over them for you today. Games. Graphics, which is really good actually, it's got a graphics folder as well. Internet, Office, Sound and Video, and Universal Access, and add and remove programs. This has also got for Mozilla Firefox, Evolution Mail, and Help. It tells you the date, the time, and you just create a user once you install it, which I'm not going to do because I've already installed it. So that was me installing Ubuntu Linux guys and giving you just a quick overview. Not very in depth, but I plan to do a few more tutorials on it once I myself get better on it. Hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to show you how to exit this screen now. So you just hover anyway in the black space outside. A top bar will drop down, you go view, single window, and it's done. You just quit your application, suspend it, it's saving the virtual machine state and there you go thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon